How y'all doing? I'm Big Al, and welcome to, well, my upstairs studio. I accidentally didn't record an intro to this video originally. I recorded this a couple weeks ago. Um, if you're new to the channel, I hope you will take a moment to like and subscribe. Today I'm back, or I should say, I was back with the Camry's door handle, which needs to be repaired yet again, because, surprise, surprise, I didn't fix it right the first time. So, here we go again with yet another insultingly overpriced piece of Toyota plastic. Without further ado. Alright, so, got my uh, impact set on remove. This whole door latch mechanism is just completely in the way. That bolt is up here. It's going to be a nightmare to get it out. One, two, three. One thing I hate, it's taking door panels apart. It is just not fun. So, this whole door latch, door lock assembly, handle assembly can come out and just rest there for now. Hmm. Now I've got good access. What I'm going to do, where did I put that there? There it is. I'm going to take the old part off before I even... <clears throat> is it a T27? It is. Well, that's a bit. Now that's out. Hmm. Okay, now we are going to put the whole door latch, door handle assembly back in. Oh. oh, that's going to be fun. Making sure I don't drop that uh, torque screw down into where it will never be seen again. I can't keep my hand up. Uh -huh. That just slides it. Position. All right. Now, another T27 I got to put back in to hold this in position. Started. I'm just going to use my impact bit like a nut driver. I can tighten that down. Because remember, what is my strictest rule about impacts? And by extension, breaker bars. For taking apart, never putting back together. Except when you're in a hurry and you've had to feed too many beers. On the plus side, if you do mess up, it's just more YouTube content. Oh, can I open this thing up better so you can see better? Yeah. Perfect. Now. That's, that's not going anywhere. The door handle itself needs to go back on now. Got to get the gaskets right. that here I don't remember which the, you have two gaskets the bigger of the two goes in the back and the smaller one goes toward the front of the car and the handle should snap just pop right in basically of course should doesn't always necessarily mean will well it 
did in that case, but the gasket got, uh, let's just say it's in the wrong position. Uh, back that off and try again. Because the more I do this, the more I can guarantee that one torque screw is going to fall down into the door. Ah, you are fine. Right, shut the door then. Well, the gaskets are not cooperating. Okay, fine. If I have to make another expensive trip to the Toyota dealer, I won't be entirely... I mean, it would give me a good excuse to take the Corvair out on a cruise, but... Still. It doesn't want to go now. Well, that was my fault for giving it the kiss of death by saying it would be simple. Don't ever do that. gaskets have been out so many times from because we fixed this I put the door handle back on it would be okay for a while and then the back part would just pop off again because I just thought I could glue it back on and it would be fine I did not realize there was a structural component to that I thought it was just pure oh, that's probably why I'm having problems okay I can't I just need more hands than I was born with. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, now, you're gonna sit there like a good boy. Oh, no. no, stop doing that. Why doesn't it want to stay put? mechanism was the problem. It wasn't catching. Okay. All right. Partway there. Let's take this. matter of putting that Torx screw in. Uh, I gotta reassemble everything. Oh, that's the wrong one. I don't actually have Torx screwdrivers. Not gonna work. Okay. I'll be back in a second. A few moments later. Okay, back to it. Made myself a proper nut driver out of, well, screwdriver out of the uh, extension here. thing back together then. Get the screws down here so that 
do this a tad more expediently. I have other things I'd like to do. Got to finagle it around. There's like a little plastic fork in here that goes over this. The door lock. I think I got it. My finger's in there, but I... the latch their G27s. Perfect. All right. I think we're uh, making meaningful progress here. Should just be a matter of buttoning everything back up and should be. Maybe I can use the impact on this one. That is Big Al's Garage rule number two. Do as I say, not as I do. It's metal into metal. All right. Moisture barrier is always a nightmare to put in. And then getting the uh, door panel itself back on. It's always a rip-roaring joy. There's another piece that plugged in there. This plugs in here. That's for the door lock. Ow. going to very cautiously close the door. I hope I don't have a real mess on my hand. Uh-oh. Well, it opens from the inside, but not the outside. What the heck did I do wrong? Okay, so we gotta come apart and try again. Try again. range of motion. The gasket is. Now let's see what happens. Okay. Can't it be like the Corvair's door handles? Nice, durable metal, meant to last. You know. Are they in the right caskets? They gotta be. Let's try it again. 
because the universe won't be happy until I drop that screw. Maybe this is supposed to be open when you put this in. That, now it fits better. Screw that in before it changes its mind. Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, I know. I'm a terrible shade tree mechanic. Can't imagine how much this would cost at the dealership. I mean, dealership. All right, that seems to. Gasket is still misaligned. Dad, got it. This thing is really just going to fight me until the bitter end. I'm going to back it all the way up. Use that gasket until it's finally in position. Find me? You just try me a little. Fingers crossed. Hopefully this is the last time I have to do this. That is not the correct fit for this thing, like at all. That's better. It's not seeing it correctly. Slightly behind. test. Unbelievable. <laughs> this thing is starting to really uh, get me ticked off. What am I doing wrong? Not open. Okay. I fix it. Right now, you don't want to freaking make this worse, do you? Just take the darn bolts out and do it the right way instead of forcing things. I've got to remind myself sometimes when you're at this stage of a job where you just want it to be done and. 
that is when it is most important to take your time. God. And I pray, spirit of the founder or whatever, that you allow this to work. Ha ha! Success! Not perfect, but I will take it. All right, so the door panel is mostly back together. I just gotta put the screws in, window controls, and panels. That's it, we're done. Was a bit more challenging than I would have liked it to have been, but hey, door is back together, the handle is fixed. It's much harder for people to break into the car, which was my primary concern. I am going down to Florida in a couple days. Don't need my car busted in two. And this car also needs a massive detail. Said it once and I'll say it again, kids torture car interiors. Bada bing. Yeah, I know what I said about impact. I think we're back in business. Make sure nothing went cattywampus while we were putting the door back together. Perfect. I love it. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching. That's all for today. I hope you'll take a moment to please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next installment.